What's up, everybody? I'm Dear Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're back with some more Monster Hunter, and a lot of people have been asking me a lot of questions. So a lot of things happen on the channel. One, you know, the whole thing happened with the channel name change and everything happened. We got that resolved. Two, we've gained a lot of new subscribers, and a lot of new subscribers are catching my content in a wave of when I'm like just doing like runs, having a good time, playing some stream highlights and stuff. And they're like, hey, 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 please show me your builds. Show me what you're doing. How can we do so much damage? And they're like, DG, bless us, show me your ways. And I was like, sure. So today we're gonna be going over my build. We'll work your way. We'll do a couple of awesome runs to see that crispy action, that crispy damage. My fam, without further ado, let's dive in. So first thing first, we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is break down my set. This is what my loadout looks like. We got attack, max stop, crit, I max stop, agitator, tool specialist. Look, before I get even, before I even go further than this, in order to make all this possible, you need the Fatal set because the Fatal set is literally the the best set in the game because it gives you literally the most disgusting slottage there ever was. Every single piece gives you four or three level four slots available to you and the special bonus is when you level one, when you get two sets bonus, you remove the level cap, meaning you can max out every single skill that needs like special sets in order for it to be like level seven. Like, lovely. I'm so excited to make this video. I almost broke my god dang phone. Anyways, what essentially what I was saying is some armor pieces need like. I don't know, like Baroth set to get like the level seven agitator or whatever. So essentially this set gives you ability to go to level seven on every single one of your abilities by just having two piece armors. That's already amazing. The second thing is if you look at it, the Fatality Legend, what happens is it gives you your health and stamina start at 200%. It gives you additional 100 and you get razor sharp, which decreases the amount of sharpness, wear and tear on your weapon. So essentially this set is like the best thing ever. So what it did is what they did here is they got rid of the Deostra. I don't even know what it's called anymore because it's been so long since I've used it. What is it called anymore? The, uh, yes, 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 Master's Touch. It's been so long, I had to look it up. I was like, what was it called? Yes, exactly. So Master Touch, you can finally get away from using Hailster set. So if you haven't fought Fatalis yet, that's be the first thing on your agenda. If you get if you get to that point, fight him, destroy him. If you haven't beat Fatalis and you're not strong enough, watch some of my older videos. I got lots of builds that can support you with that. So that's a set I'm using, which allows me to do this nasty damage. It's actually, especially the same thing with the weapon. The weapon has good damage. This has negative affinity, but you can uh, you can like offset that with like a bunch of other like uh, jewels and decorations and stuff, and that gives you two level four slots. So like with this much power available to you, you can literally do anything you want in this game at this point. Now the only thing holding some of you back, you right now. You can tell by looking on the left side of my screen. The only thing holding some of you back from the DPS that you deserve is the decorations you have in your inventory. So now the second part is you gotta grind until you can shine. So if what you gotta do is do the threat level three, you got, there's a bunch of quests now, the Furious, Temper Furious Rajong one, the Temper the Illustrator, the Temper Luna quest to give you a, a good opportunity to get some good jewels, the little tickets, take advantage of those. So take advantage of those and that will allow you to unleash your power. And I think, no, I was thinking about, as I'm recording this video, I think I might change the title of this. This video will help you unleash your true power. So you want to be stronger. You want to do that big damage. These are some of the things that you're gonna need, but some of them require some time. I go, I get it. This is the kind of a game you can just play with your boys, have a good time, play solo, play multiplayer, and just grind until you can't grind no more. But trust me, you shall get the decorations you're looking for as long as you stay committed. You stay focused, you'll get there. So on the left hand side, it took us like a good amount of time to get these jewels. I, learned, I have like 1700 hours in the game, but I got majority of my tech jewels within two hours of playing and I started on PC and those are RNG. RNG Jesus loves me. It lives in my backyard. Matter of fact, RNG Jesus, my, my, my man. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, what happens is we start on PC as well. We got our first attack four within like, before we got to master rank 100. So it's possible. The super rare. I'm super lucky. I'm super blessed. Thank you so much. But I grind so much. But that's how you get some of these jewels. 
Other things as well as keeping your damage low. You boys out there not tenderizing the monster. I made a video on this. Go watch it. Tenderize the monster. Gives you better hit zones, hit points, hit values, whatever. More damage is what I see. You tenderize the body, you get more damage. Shaver Jewel. Get this jewel because what it does is allows you to tenderize with one clutch claw attack with a light weapon. If you're a heavy weapon like great sword or charge play you don't need it because you literally already tend to rise in one hit but if you use a long sword dual blades uh what else what else um i don't know insect glide light blow you know all the fast stylish weapons not saying the other ones aren't stylish they're cool too but if you use one of the stylish weapons then yes you need <laughs> people are gonna get mad at me i already see in the comments now stylish weapon did you mind? My, my, my weapon stylish as well. Yes, 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 yes. All you weapon stylish cool. Anyways, so let's make sure you use this one as well. Then keeps your damage. So a couple of things. Everybody's like, DG, you only need attack plus four. And I, I, I find that funny because they say you only need four levels of attack, which is true because at level four attack, what happens? Some magical stuff happens. So at level four attack, you get plus five affinity. And in this game, affinity is where you want to be. Affinity is critical. Your chance to crit. The more crit you have, the more chance you have to do more damage. The more damage you do, you get juicy numbers. But the question is, when I tell people is, what happens in a scenario where you can have attack max, critical eye max, added here max, weakens exploit max, crit boost, and P performance. What are you saying? All my focus, if you guys didn't know, I do DPS builds. Every game we play going forward at this point, it's always going to be focused on DPS. We're playing Genshin Impact. I'm doing DPS builds only. We play Monster Hunter, I do DPS. So essentially every single DPS skill is available to us. We're maxed out on here. Uh, a couple others you can put. I could take out one of these and put like another Phoenix Shield in there to get a little bit more damage. But like, I like Destroyer because why? The faster I break that part, the softer that part is, the softer that part is, the earlier in the battle, the more damage I do. Boom, magic. It's all a formula I come up to myself. I'm not, I'm not one of the guys that kind of like sits in the lab and does all the numbers and spreadsheets like respect to those people. But for me, I just kind of do what makes sense to me. So this is my set. Also too, I'm using the tool specialist for a couple of reasons. One, Rock City Mantle allows me to, to tenderize in peace. In this game, it's extremely, extremely, extremely annoying when you're trying to tenderize a monster. It moves all over the place, it throws all over the place and you fall off. So super annoying. So. Rock City handles that. Also, my evasion mantle gives me more damage. So I like using evasion mantle because with the long sword, essentially when you ever hit the foresight, boom, evasion mantle is triggered. You get increased damage, and boom, you're doing more damage. So everything I got right now is kind of formulated to like make sure I'm optimizing my damage in all of my runs. This is what else I got over here. Like I was talking about Shaper Jewel. I got. I don't even know why I have this protection jewel here. I guess I got nothing else to put. So I just put that one there. I guess I could put like evade window. If I wanted to, sometimes I switch between tool special and evade window, but I like that. I like keeping this on fire. I like tenderizing in peace and I like my evasion mantle giving me that extra damage. So this is the rollout critical boost. You must have this one. That's a hard one to get as well. But if you can grind in, you shall have a couple of them. Weakness exploit. Peak performance is one that you don't have to get. I just like getting peak performance because essentially what it does is when you are attacking a monster, where is it? People form, where are you? When you are attacking a monster, okay, decide not to show up. It essentially gives you additional 20% raw attack when your health is full. So essentially what that does, is it teaches me to say, you know what? If I'm going to keep this on my set, I got to keep my health at maximum level. If I keep my health at maximum level, I am doing more damage. So essentially make sure all my four sides are on point or I'm dodging and getting the hell out the way if I need to. And that's it. Handicraft keeps my sharpness up. These are some like extra ones you can put in. You don't have to essentially do my run the set I'm using, but a lot of people have been asking me, how do I get this crispy damage? And this is it. Maximize my offensive skills. What makes sense? My shaver jewel, so I'm tenderizing. Um, destroyer breaking the parts. So I'm doing, doing more damage earlier on. I'm gonna display, just showcase it right now against a monster, my favorite elder dragon. And you can see it all in action. And this, the times are beautiful, the runs are beautiful, the staggers are beautiful. Like, just playing smart is kind of what the focus is. But last but not least, I'll show you guys what my augmentation look like. Affinity increase because you want to crit as much as possible. Health regen, if you're not using it, why? 
and elemental up because I mean, I, there's nothing else that's one, one, one block that's useful. So I, I just put that. Drag is not too bad. Drag is the element of this weapon. Do I want the elementless weapon? Yes, but elementless weapons died in base game and you kind of got to rock with what you got. Prior to this, blast is like meta. Prior to that, poison was meta with a Luna long sword. So this is what we're currently rocking. Let's go ahead and fight some monsters, class some chicks, my family. Without further ado, let's dive in. Also, you can make sure you eat as well. You have some extra damage. So for me, one thing I don't do I'm really bad at is I don't really buff as much because like I'm a hybrid. I'm like a I'm a, I'm a part-time speedrunner, full-time entertainer. So like, yes, I want my character to be super strong, but I don't necessarily do all, all the speedrunner tactics. I use some of them. Then when my times are good, the gameplay is enjoyable, but at the same time, I'm still commentating and having a good time. So there's two ways I can go about this. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my first level of my meter. So with the long sword, the goal, as you guys know, is to get them four sides and get that level up. So I got that one up, rock steady. Start tenderizing. Yes, I didn't want to get this part of his body, but it's okay. Skirp. Oh, Mr. Whiskers, why are you doing that to him? So rude. Got this. Let me get one more level up real quick. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you weren't supposed to fall over so quick, bro. I'm doing a video. All right, all right. Boom, boom. I'll just chill, get my levels up. Yes, he does this. When it comes down, I'm gonna get to the face. I typically get this arm, but for some reason, I'm always on this side of, of Nergi. Get that. And do this one. Okay, and now we can chill. Thank you. Oh! What do you mean? Come on. Nergi, you're falling over too much. Also, the goal is to get him when he's coming up like that. Woo! Yo, stop it. Stop it. If you don't knock it out, bro, we look looking too smooth out here. Is it too far? Ooh! Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get a force at all, but I'll get my levels up here. Mmm. Ooh. Put this bad boy on. We want some damage now. Oh my god. There you get the disrespect. Skirt. Nope. Get out of here. So one. Let's get ourselves situated. Uh-huh. This is the one that's really dope too. Jump on, jump off, boom. Take it. Ooh, I was trying to hit the four side right there. Ah. Not enough. We'll take this one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Give me my red, thank you. Ooh, he's like, what is this? What is this? All right, he's gonna go on the other side. We gotta get him with a head. Is that enough timing? Mm. All right, he's engaged again. Perfect. This time, we're gonna jump off and build our meter. As you can see, his whole body part is broken, so I'm doing even more damage. At this point, my destroyer's jewel is useless, but that's okay, because it served its purpose. Okay. All right. Screw. Thank you. I know you wanted me to. Uh, is he gonna jump? I thought RG was gonna get me right there. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, we rocking it, baby. So at this point, his body is no longer tender. It only lasts three minutes. 
Oh. Mr. Whiskers. What's wrong with you? How dare you be so helpful? What is wrong with you? I saw that one in slow motion too. Take one of these. At some point I wanna like get his body back again. I used to get an arm real quick. Thank you. Maybe when he falls over again. And is that enough? Woo! I love it. Love it. Ooh. Stay down. Right there. Thank you. That little hit we needed was all was all we needed right there. Yes. Um I'll go for this arm. I'll take it. Oh, this the head's broken now. So now right here, I'm gonna get this part. I need to tenderize. I know my sharpness is not looking too good right now, but it's okay. Ooh. And the question is, should we end this sweaty or should we end it comfortably? All right. Let's keep myself healed. Oh, nice. Thank you. Woo, let's go, baby. Smooth like butter. Beautiful. Beautiful execution. That's how you put them down, baby. His body's wounded. His head wound is broken. Both the heads broken. The arms are broken. Tenderized throughout the battle. Took advantage of the claggers, the staggers, whatever you call it. Jumped on, jumped off. Is that, that's how we do it. That's how you get the crispy numbers. Last but not least, you gotta practice. After every run, boom, boom, boom. This is a smooth family tradition. Mm, mm, mm. You gotta be in a dojo every day practicing. I got lots of guy videos on Longsword if you guys need help. Kind of break down the, put put down all the smoke behind all the attacks. Check them out. Ooh, lovely. And that's how we do it when I'm from. 612, my birthday, let's go. June 12, baby. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful, value added for you. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now. Join the Smooth family, click the red button. Make sure you thumbs the video up. A lot of people are like, DJ, DJ, how can I help you? I can't donate, it's okay, it's okay. If you wanna help me out, just like the video and watch the full video of all my videos. Ladies and gentlemen, follow us on Twitch. We stream all the time. Till next time, my family, dear gamers, signing out.